hello guys and welcome back to omalicha's lounge it's still your girl omalicha pepe rimpi so ladies and gentlemen please don't walk away from an abusive marriage did you hear what i said don't walk away from an abusive marriage welcome to omalicha's lounge <laughs> ladies and gentlemen don't walk away from an abusive marriage run don't walk away i mean run away from an abusive marriage you don't have to be in an abusive marriage just to prove to the world that you're married see there are some marriages they call see this one is just bad outrightly bad you don't need to explain to anybody um why you left a marriage or why you are still in that marriage and once you've not see when you're dating someone there are many signs that will show that this person is abusive so and we should all know that abuse can be um towards the husband or towards the wife but majority of the cases we see these days are mostly abuse to the wife so domestic violence to the wife and most times these women end up getting killed the problem is that i don't even know why when you're trying to save someone from a, an abusive marriage they end up going back to that same abuser do you know the psychological trauma you're, you're inflicting on your children because you just want to stay married or you're hoping that god would change the person you don't have to be there for god to change that person why not give them space it pains me that every time we come out to social media and we're always hearing um this lady died from domestic violence this person died this lady died this lady died this lady died I was thinking by now ladies would have sense ladies will those they'll be thinking with their heads and not their hearts what does it profit you to stay in an abusive marriage and lose your soul what does it profit you as a woman he will change he will change he will change what is he changing what's the change? oh he was a beast now he will change to a man come on ladies now come on we can do better you advise this but oh you need to leave are you not seeing the signs he will beat you today you carry black eye tomorrow you say you hit your stomach your, your 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 stomach or your your stomach when your tummy when you're pregnant you entered into coma you're pregnant you lost your pregnancy when he kicked you come on why are you still okay i watched a video i don't want to sound insensitive but i need to talk about this there's this um, recent case of this guy they call IVD or something. I don't know, was it IVD or something or IVF? I don't know. But I remember watching one video where the wife was, she posted and she was like, you don't provide for the kids, you don't provide for me. You don't take care of me, you don't take care of the kids. Lady, what were you still doing in that kind of marriage? The man does not provide for you. He doesn't provide for the kids. No, are you married to yourself? L ladies and gentlemen, see, let me tell you spiritual husband is no longer the one you see in the dream spiritual husband they are now out so you can be uh, you can be alive and you get married to a spiritual man spiritual husband does not mean that the only one that will come to your your dream and be sleeping with you spiritual husband also mean those men that will not like your progress as a woman they'll tell you once a woman is progressing she will no longer have respect those men that will tell you once a woman says she will not even she's, she cannot even make my meal you need to kneel down greet me you need to do this you need to do that look let me tell you you mustn't be married you mustn't be in that marriage to prove to the world i'm married you have kids that will take care of you what do you i'm so pained honestly i'm pained we heard of osina chikis where the husband even pushed her out of the car and she went back saying god separate from that man i don't support divorce but look you can separate from that abusive man everybody and anyone will understand anyone that tells you that they don't understand uh, why should you leave your marriage you should be there praying that person is a wicked person is a wicked man or a wicked woman ah, we've had these cases of women always dying dying their husband beat them their husband kicked them the husband ah, are we not tired sometimes i feel that these women they actually want to die because see if someone has beaten you once twice second time third time they beat you enter coma they beat you, you lose your pregnancy my dear what are you still doing there 
What are you still doing there? You're married to a beast. And sometimes, I don't know, I don't know if it's a spirit. Once you start advising them, don't go back. Please don't go back. Most of, out of 100 cases, 99 of those women, they end up going back to the abusive marriage. He has changed. Oh, he has changed. He said he wouldn't do it again. The last one, he would do it and he would, that was the one that would kill you. That's the one that would take you to six feet. I remember of a case, a lady, she, the husband was always beating her. Beating her. It was even a pastor. Beating this woman. And on this day, I was like, God, what's happening? She ran into my house. She was like, please, 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 please. I, I, I my husband was like, it does. I said, please, let's just hear. I said, okay. She said, saying that the husband is very, is a devilish man. Stupid pastor. This, that. I was like, ah, since you know all these things, why have you been in this marriage with this man? What are you even gaining? It doesn't take you. Why? She was like, she's going there. After this night, fast, she's taking her, she's packing her bag and she's leaving. I felt it was someone I was talking to. Guess what? After two months, this woman came back. She didn't even come and greet me. She just went straight to the husband's house. She was like, ah. When I finally saw her on the streets, she was like, ah, she has, she's back. Oh, she's back to take care of her husband and to manage her home. I looked at her. I was like, okay, that's fine. I wouldn't be the one to tell you. I spoke, like we both spoke about this incident, how this man keeps beating you and you keep going back. So now, since you're here to man manage your home and ma manage your husband and manage anything, good luck to you. That was it. That was the last I heard of her. What's the gain of you being beaten every day? What's the gain? What do you gain from a man beating you every day? He doesn't give you money. He doesn't provide for you. What are you there doing? You're just there answering Mrs. Mrs. What? Mrs. What? Who are you Mrs. In? You get married to, you see a man, the, the other time they said a man, he burnt his wife's property because she, come on. See, once you see that a man is no longer a man, is now a beast, give him chance. Some women are even better off than being married. You see some pictures when they were married to this man, how they look. When they hold the marriage, they've broken up the marriage, she has divorced the man. You see the woman flourishing and shining so why are you holding on to your past that man is your past let your past go don't let any spiritual man tie you down all, all in the name of marriage or in the sake of you being married what do what would you tell your kids if oh god along the line you, you die what happens that same man will bring his girlfriend to your your burial ground and you'll be drinking even the side chick will be there with him ladies i think we need to do better I know sometimes it's very frustrating when you as a family member, you keep talking to someone about a particular, you need to leave. This person is not right for you. This, and the person doesn't listen. Sometimes everybody will just be like, whatever you want to do is your life. If, if you want to die, die. When you die, we'll take care of the children. But do you know the psychological effect this has on the kids? Do you know? Do you know, ladies, when you sit and you tell yourself, I'm staying back because of these kids, you're doing yourself more, you're doing those kids more harm than good. If it's for the boys, you're, 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 you're gradually making those boys, you're turning them into a beast. Because every day they wake up, they see this is how their father treats their mother. And if it's for the girls, you're in, gradually making those girls hate men. Or they become, they'll, they'll try to be so independent that when they get married, they don't want to be submissive. Or you make them become so submissive that whatever a man tells, even if the man tells them, jump inside the fire, they'll ask, how high should I jump? Please don't destroy your children just because you want to stay in an abusive marriage. When I say don't walk away from an abusive, I mean run away from an Run. In fact, avoid it like a plague. When you see the signs, please don't wait to say, maybe he's going to change. He will not change. If he didn't change the first one, he didn't change it. My dear, the third one, he will tell you, black, say this woman, na mumu. Sasa, even blow for Bele, she's still there alive. The one who I go do him next time, eh? The one who I go do him next time, I go make sure I kill him. Na mumu woman. If I beat her, finish, she go stay calm. Ladies, why? Are you? You're too beautiful for a man to abuse you. Know your what, 
Don't, don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. You're too beautiful. Beauty is not just about the face, your face, your body structure. Look, some women are intelligent. Don't sell yourself short because you want to stay married. Married back walk. Don't be stupid. And you end up leaving those kids with no with no mother. Do you, have you seen children homes with no mother? Do you see what those kids they pass through? Do you see what they pass through? Because they don't have mothers. And you end up leaving your kids with no mother in this wicked world. With no motherly love. Do you know that times where your kids they want motherly love? They want you to call to them, they want you to talk to them. And you're not there because of a love for a man. You love a man's body. You love a man's private part more than yourself, more than your kids. I'm married. I'm a married woman. Who asks you? Who ask? On the last day, would they ask you if you're a married woman? Would they ask you? I'm so pained that we women were selling ourselves short. Marriage is a beautiful Don't get me wrong. Marriage is a beautiful thing. Is a lovely thing. Marriage is a beautiful thing. When you get married to the right person, you will enjoy your marriage. But please, when a man or a woman becomes abusive in a marriage or a relationship, please leave. Don't say, I'm waiting for him to change. He's not going to change. Don't say, let me go back. Maybe I will try. Let me stay with him and pray. Please pray from afar. No one asked you to divorce, but you can separate from that man. Please, I beg you girls. I beg you up, young girls. I beg even women. Most times, even all elder women fall prey to this domestic violence. Even men too as well. They pass through domestic, but the cases are not so rampant or they don't talk about it. But most cases we hear of women dying. It's mostly women. Of people dying, it's mostly women. We don't hear a woman killed a man. It's mostly a man beat up the woman until she died. So please, I think, ladies, we can do better. And don't sell yourself short. If you, you want to pray for him, pray for him from, from afar. If you want, let him change. Let him change. But you mustn't be there to, to, to see him change. All right, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe. And please don't forget to turn on the notification button just to get notification on my new videos and my latest videos. Thank you and I love you guys.